Hi everyone, it's Nicole here from Baby to Sleep. So today's video is a little bit different, so we're going to get straight into it. Um, it's a top tips video um, on different ways to help you on your parenting journey, some parenting hacks in how to deal with nappy changes, get them done at good speeds, on the go, um, and basically save you a lot of time and a lot of mess. I hope you find it helpful. So to begin with, we're going to talk about putting on the nappy. Sounds really, really simplistic, doesn't it? You go, yep, yeah, baby, nappy, really, really easy. However, very, very easy for them to leak. So there's a knack. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it all out. Now you see these bits here. All right, let's come up here. You see these bits? Aha, uh -huh. look at this. These pop out. So when you're putting the nappy on the baby, you need to make sure you're pulling these out. So let's have a go. Let's see where we go from here. So we're going to pop baby down. We're going to pop this nappy on. All right. But we're not going to just go straight in and tie that. We are going to make sure that we pull out all these side bits here. So when we go to put this nappy on, oops, it's really, really easy. All right, so we're not going to just leave it like that. We want to make sure we pop our finger through the sides and pull out like little wings, I suppose, that keep the poo in there. So if there is a poo army, hopefully it will stay. Moving on to changing the nappy. So some very quick tips for you here. First things first, have everything laid out before you start. So if you're using nappy bags, pop your nappy bag here to the side, have your wipes out ready. The last thing you need when you've got a punami going on is <laughs> to be hunting out the wipes and them all getting stuck together. So have them ready. And here's the little saver. What you want to be doing is, oh no, baby's on a big poo. Even if it's just a wee, pop the new nappy underneath the old nappy. So that way, if there is an accident, it goes on the nappy and not everywhere else, which is very, very helpful, okay? So it just means that you can take away the old nappy, you can do your the wipes that you need to do, pop it away, move it away, keep wiping, fold it away. You've got baby on the new nappy here, that goes away nice and easy for the purposes of putting the new nappy on. Okay, so this is probably one of my favourite parenting hacks um, with a newborn baby. One that I didn't find out about until we were a fair few punamis in. So we were about six weeks in when I found out about this one. So you've got your punami, you're there and you're going, right, okay, oh no, there's poo all over the clothes. What am I going to do? Baby's head's here, the poo is going to go all over the baby's head. This is just an absolute nightmare. It's just another bath waiting to happen. So <laughs> what we're going to do see these little folds here right they are there for a reason <gasps> look at this they come down now you have to excuse the fact that this doll is obviously not a real baby so, <laughs> so not as uh, <coughs> you know helpful as a baby would be but these just come down baby's there and you can just kind of go oh yeah there we go and the nap that is off now I am just dealing with the poo. What an absolute lifesaver. Right, so we're going to just do a few on the sleep suit now. So you've got your new baby, you've probably been given loads of scratch mitts and things like that, and they're probably lost all around the house. You've got no idea where all the pairs are. Did you know that pretty much all the sleep suits have built-in scratch mitts? How absolutely wonderful is that? So you can basically just wrap them round and then they don't need to scratch themselves. Absolutely amazing. Now then, this one won't work quite the same um, because um, this is one that goes over one side here on the buttons. But if you, I'll show you anyway, because if you've got a little one and you've got their sleep suit and it comes buttoned all the way down here and it's a bit too long for them, what you can do is rather than, I mean, this to be fair, this fits this doll quite nicely. But if it's a bit too long, you can actually mess around with the buttons and miss one out. And that will then make it shorter on the leg. Uh, so if you've got a baby that, you know, you've gone 
two sizes or something like that. You've gone from the one to three months and you go into three to six and the leg length's a bit too long. Do a bit of uh, playing with the buttons and you'll find yourself with it fitting quite nicely. One last one on the sleep suits is you'll see people saying about um, having to unbutton them every time you're doing a nappy change. Do you know what? It really doesn't need to be that bad. You just need to really undo the bottom bit. You can keep all this top bit on for them and you can actually just roll it up the back like this, keep it all on and do your nappy change from here. So once you've got them done, all you're having to do then is bring it back down much, much easier than constantly messing around, taking it off and on again. Now, boys are renowned for weeing when you change their nappy. So this is a very useful one for that. Now, I've only had girls, so I've not experienced this uh, personally. <laughs> but I've heard many times about people getting weed on when they go to change their little boy's nappy. So it's to do with the cold air meeting that area and it making them want to wee. So what you can always do, just give them a minute, let it come loose, give them a bit of air, and then just pop it back over. You might even get a wipe, give it a quick go over with a wipe, bit of cool air, give it a chance, pop the old nappy back over, let the wee happen <laughs> before you actually start changing the nappy and putting the clean one on. Once the wee's happened, then go for it. Go for your nappy change as per normal. So I'm going to talk to you about when they get a bit older and you start using nappy pants. This is a great one for when they're out and about on the go um, and you need to change the nappy in the most awkward places. Because um, if you want to keep the shoes, if they're, you know, if they're out and about and you've got the shoes on, you're kind of going, they can't really sh strip you down. You can actually do this one by keeping one of the shoes on, half the clothes still on, whip the shoe off, half the leggings out, nappy on, shoe back on before you've even started messing with the nappy. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really, really good. Obviously, this is a doll. It's a bit silicone, so it's a bit more tricky. Um, but let's just go for it and let's see how we get on. So imagine you've got a shoe on, you take the shoe off, leggings on. We're going to take one leg out. We're going to keep the rest of the clothes on. We're going to put the leg at the nappy. Well, the doll's arm is stuck in the pants there, which is always great fun. So we're going to keep the clothes on, the leg through the nappy, and you're going to take all the clothes through with you, okay? Which makes it really, really helpful. So then what you do is once those are through, you then put the other leg back through there on the nappy. So they are in, pop the other leg back through the other side, pop the shoe back on, right? Then actually at this point, they've got the nappy on, they've got the old nappy on, they've got the clothes on, you've only had to mess around with one leg, great for speed. And then all you need to then do is even if they're standing up, you just whip the old nappy off. So if it's nappy pants still, you just rip the tabs. This is just the uh, baby nappy that I was using from before. Pull the nappy up really really simple really really quick great for on the go um and there you are bob's your uncle and they're done super super fast can't swear that can't say enough that is such a useful one to have access to um especially when you're out and about and you're just in that situation going i've got nowhere to lie you down do it that way one leg dead easy the last top tip i'm going to give you is about the changing mat can't stress this one enough, by the way, because I made this mistake myself. You'll see all these changing mats and they're really lovely. They've got a nice cover on and you're thinking to yourself, oh, this is absolutely amazing. My baby's going to be really, really cosy. It costs a bit more as well. It must be really, really good. Don't bother. <laughs> Don't bother because oh, there's just poo everywhere. You can't help it. This is what happens when you have a baby. They wee everywhere, they poo everywhere, they vomit everywhere. That is just what happens. So you are best off just sticking with your easy to wipe down one. Have one upstairs, have one downstairs. Make it really, really simple for yourself. That way you're not having to constantly run up and down the stairs every time you actually need to get the changing mat. Have one upstairs, have one downstairs, have wipes all over the house, have nappies upstairs, have nappies downstairs, have your nappy bags wherever or your nappy bins if you've got nappy bins. Make your life as simple as possible okay 
be prepared for those situations where literally you'll pick your baby up and go, oh my goodness me, what happened there? There's just poo everywhere. Have everything to hand. Don't go for these really lovely ones with the covers on because they are just pointless. You will just end up washing them and then not using them again. Um, we just ended up taking the cover off and just using the changing mat as it was, which was basically a plain white one <laughs> underneath. So, you know, and it just cost a fair bit more. So honestly, you're probably best off just sticking with it. You're nice, plain and simple, easy to wipe down, nappy, ba nappy mats. Hopefully you found this really, really helpful. And there's a load of bits of information in there that you did not know about. And you're probably sitting there thankful now that if you've not had your baby, you found out about it before you have your baby. Uh, if you're finding out about it, after you've had your baby and you've dealt with many poonamis and poo in the hair and all over the place, you're probably sitting there going, how did I not know this before? <laughs> Seriously, honestly, most of us don't find these things out until somebody actually tells us that is why this is here. So feel free, share the video with people, sign up to the um, YouTube channel. There are so many useful bits of information there, so many useful videos, not just me talking, but people that I actually interview as well to make sure I can bring you the best support, the best quality um, of advice available and i'm always bringing out new videos so hop on over subscribe to the youtube channel and you'll get all your notifications every time i launch a new video but i hope you found this really really helpful and feel free to share this with any of your families on their parenting journey i'll see you later